Um, right. Well, you wrote a song about your dad that's unreleased. <laughs> I did. What can we you know about that one? Um, Wait, <laughs> sorry, that's... I'm still like laughing. Um, <laughs> Great transition there. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> so... That was very sandpaper <laughs> of you, Dan. <laughs> right. <Jesus>. Um, <laughs> So good. Yeah. Honestly good to keep it lighthearted it's like anyways. This, this is all it's, it's this is literally all we do all day. Like this is what we should be good at, you know. Or not. I love it. Oh, no, I love fuck. it. Um yeah, I did I wrote a song about my dad. I my mom and my dad got divorced when I was like 4, and so he's never really been around. So got to write about that. What That's wh- Pent up emotion, or is there a moment that creeps back in that leads to that song? How do you even get to that place? Um, I actually like when I was younger, I never really thought about it in a bad way. I would make jokes and be like, Yeah, I have daddy issues, whatever. I don't have a dad, <laughs> like, whatever. But well, I think, it was just a way to cope, yeah. But I, I think the second I like turned 18, I was like, Shit, like, this is actually a lot of built up emotion that I never actually like talked about explored. Like I've just never thought about it. And, um, I'm like, this is so deep from the last conversation we've had, but I, I started therapy and my therapist was like, you need to write a letter to your dad. And I was like, I am not writing a letter to my dad. Like, no. So I just wrote a song and I was just planning on sending it to her and being like, here's my letter to my dad. But it turned out to be like my favorite song that I've done. So That's a big deal yeah. for a bunch of different reasons. Yeah. Because it's the best song you've ever done, does it prove to you that you being your most vulnerable self actually works? Totally. Do you want your dad to hear it? See, that's <laughs> that's the thing. I'm like, I'm scared for my dad to hear it. But also, everyone's like, but it's how you're feeling and he should hear it eventually, you know? Because I feel like we've never actually had a conversation about how we, how our relationship is and how he is as a dad to me. So I, I hope he hears it. I, in the beginning I was like, I don't want him to, and I won't release this and whatever, but I think it'll be really good. And a lot of people can also relate to it as well. Like I, a lot of my friends grew up without a dad and it's hard. When did he re-enter your life? Um, re-enter is a strong word. (laughs) I think like, tries to but fails (laughs) did it happen when fame crept in or what was it i honestly i don't know he just like he'll talk to me and then not talk to me for a long time and then he'll talk to me and then not talk to me for it like that's just how our relationship is that's kind of worse than just going silent no no it sucks but i have an amazing stepdad so it just makes up for all of it he is like my dad he's the best that pro- uh, like that proves to you so much more about what it means to be a father, right? Absolutely. That's really special. Nervous for your stepdad to hear the song? No. No. Have he to- supports me with everything. Have you told anybody how you... Do you talk about it now that it's out in a song, written out? I feel like I, I don't talk about it, you know, on the internet or I don't talk no, about don't, it I mean, to my your friends. Mo- I mean, your or, mom? I mean, it's really hard to talk to my mom about it. When I played her the song, it was like a full deal. She was bawling. It was like a whole thing. Just because like, I mean, that was her husband as well. Like, that's hard. It is hard. Yeah. But growth is hard, man. Yeah. No, it is. Coming to terms with baggage that you've been hauling around for fucking far too long is hard. Yeah. But like going through and sorting through it. God, life gets brighter and lighter from that moment on. It does, on. yeah. Because, like, in the moment, the tears suck, and, like, it's hard to see. Yeah. And then to even have your song be the reason why your mom's... Like, the whole thing is, must be hard. Oh, it is so hard. My I played it for my sister as well, and she... I FaceTimed her and played it for her in the studio, and she couldn't talk. She was not talking. <sighs> she was crying. She was like, I can't, I can't do this right now, and, like, hung up. <laughs> wow. But everyone loves it. So it's great. It's amazing. Do you guys, do you and your sister share the way you saw the events growing up? Like, do you, do you see, do you feel like you share that same reality? Cause I grew up, my parents got divorced. It was really contentious for a long right. time. And it started when I was like five or six and it lasted like eight years. It was really intense and bad. My sister and I have different versions of reality, but we share a lot of it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I think like, honestly, my sister and I don't talk about it as much. Like, I think we'll be like, yeah, dad called me. 
And she'll be like, oh, okay. Like, why? Like, it's never, we never actually have, like, sat down and talked about it and been like, wow, that shit sucks. Like, we've, we went through that. Like, that's terrible. And he wasn't present for her either. No. Less for her, I think. Oh. How, like, yeah. That sucks. Yeah. When did your stepdad come into your life? Around when I was, like, seven or eight. That's a beautiful thing. And he's, he's, like, the best dad you'll ever meet. I guess it's really special. Yeah. It's really, really special. Yeah. 